what's up guys? So it's me, Molt, and we have a new game that I'm just really here to question you guys about. So I've seen a lot of advertisements for Game of War. Everybody knows Kate Upton's in all the previews and all that kind of stuff. She's in the thumbnail, she's in all of that. Um, and I just wanted to give it a try because obviously if there's that much hype about it and there's that many good ratings, it has like four and a half stars in the App Store from like 30,000 reviews. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll try it out. So if any of you guys have tried it out, uh, make sure y'all leave a like on the video. That's how I'll judge how many of you guys have tried it out. Um, and then in the comments, why don't you let me know how you feel about it? Obviously, it's a lot different from the game that we all play with Clash. But I mean, there are uh, like army camps. You can see right here we have our barracks and whatnot. Uh, we have our gold mine over here. Or that's actually our farm. But you have all these plots of land where you can plant stuff. Like we can go in here, we can build this. And initially everything's free, but as you go on, uh, it takes time and whatnot to upgrade things. But <clears throat> I used to play a game like this a long time ago. I forgot what it was even called. Um, but now that Game of War is out and it has so much hype behind it, I was like, well, let's give it a try. So um, I have some stuff uh, trained up and everything. But you can see down here at the bottom it says Quest. We can go in here and look at our Empire Quest. Look at this, so we uh, built a barrack, we upgraded our farm to level 2, built a total of 4 barracks. What's this? Level up, nice. What's up, girl? Uh, join an alliance, collect, nice. Train 20 swordsmen, wow. So we've gotten a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, train 30 slingers, increase food production to 100. So you have all these different quests daily that you get, uh, and we get to collect all of our... Look at that, we leveled up again, just from collecting those quests, nice. So all of that was down there at the bottom. Uh, it looks like we have 10 new ones, so daily quests, alliance quests. You can see the little number right next to those. So that's definitely a little bit different. Obviously, this game is a lot different, but again, I wanted to give it a try. Uh, check it out because there's a lot of hype behind it. There really is. If you go look at the App Store, I'm blown away at all the likes by it um, because it's a huge number. So I was like, yes, okay, we're going to go ahead and try this out. But let's head over to our map down here in the bottom left. Where are we at? All right, so I love the fact, hey, I like the fact that it's vertical because when you hold your phone sideways, people are like, okay, he's playing a game. But when you're like this, I mean, nobody knows what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you could be playing a game. You could not be playing a game. So, uh, wait, how do I find my way back home? Oh, no, I'm lost. We're going to go back to Quest and then go back home. All right, now let's find somewhere we can attack just to see what's going on. I don't know what this blue stuff around here means. So you can scout it, so we can look what it, you have not unlocked the scouting ability. Uh-oh, so I haven't unlocked that. So as you level up, you can scout and all that kind of stuff. But let's go ahead and actually attack. Uh, the hospital does not heal troops that are injured outside of your city. Okay, that's fine. This player has an active peace shield. Okay, so that's what the blue thing around them means. That's an active peace shield, I guess. Uh, but I'm not having it. I'm going on a rampage. We're going to go find somebody to attack. Let's go ahead and just attack this guy right here. Uh, coordinates, so it shows the coordinates and all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and attack and see what it looks like. So we can say, all right, let's use 10 of our swordmen. Uh, and, oh, wow, we have a bunch of slingers uh, and 20 of these guys. So we'll do that, and then we'll march. So time is going to be a minute and two seconds. Cancel peace shield. You currently, yes, I'm going to cancel it because I want to attack somebody. Your hero provides many uh, bonuses and improvements for your army. Are you sure you want to march? Like, well, shoot, add my hero. Where was my hero at? All right, now we're going to march. Uh, yes, I want to cancel that shield. And there we go. We are marching. Look at this. So you can see where we're going. It shows the foot traffic. I probably could have attacked one a little bit closer. That's kind of cool that you can see that. But <clears throat> one thing that I do like about this is that you can schedule it. Like with that game that I used to play, I completely forgot what it was. It was like four years ago. Uh, you could schedule attacks. So you could go to bed and know, okay, I'm going to sleep for eight hours. My alarm goes off in eight hours. I'm going to attack a place four hours away. And then when I wake up, it'll be done because it attacks in four hours and it takes four hours to travel back. So it's kind of cool that it does that. I honestly like that about the game. But again, guys, I just want to know y'all's opinion on it because um, I haven't played it that much. I mean, this is my first time playing it and looking around. What Look at all these more things that we have going on in here. Oh, wow. How to play, send feedback, profile, refer a friend, heroes. So here's the hero. We can see who we have. Oh, nice. You can put all this equipment on them. This hero boosts. That's kind of cool. Crushing it. Let's go back home. So they're going to be done. Oh, look, they're about to attack. Let's see what happens when they attack. 
Where the heck is everyone? I'm back. Look, people are talking down there in the bottom, too, in the Alliance. So, uh, now they're returning. So, you see they'll be back in a minute and 18 seconds. They're attacking the base right now. Can we speed this up? How much does that cost? No. All right. So, we're not going to speed it up. We're just going to wait for it. Um, but let's head on back to our village and see what else we can build in here. So you have all these areas up here, barracks, academy, hospital. Let's build another hospital uh, just to keep everybody safe. We can actually finish that up right here. You can see, again, at the top of the map, it shows you uh, where the troops are, that they're coming back, all that kind of stuff. So we'll see what we win or what we won whenever they get back. Let's go ahead and build... Uh, Shoot, let's build an academy. We don't have any academies, so let's build an academy right there. Can we build another academy? No. So we have one academy. Let's go ahead and finish that up. The academy is where research is done. Let me show you how. Sweet. So we're going to head in here. We're going to do a little bit of research. Tap on this. Let us research combat for use in the world map. Okay, combat. Nice. Scouting. Sweet. Okay, nice. So we just researched that. Uh, continue. Did we get it? Nice. So now we can scout out. Uh, we'll exit out of this new special offer. Yay, thank you, Kate Upton, for your special offer. I appreciate it. Um, is that her walking around? What's Kate doing right there? Guys, Kate's walking around by herself. That seems a little dangerous. All right, so they're going to be back in three seconds. Let's see what happens when they get back. Your troops have returned. Yay! Uh, where did they go? Where did my troops go? What's this? Oh, that's my alliance help. Sweet. All right, so quests... Empire Quest, uh, build an academy. Nice, so we got that out of the way. Now let's go and check on our map. And well, where do I figure out? Let's see, I have to figure out where uh, it goes. We're going to figure this out together, guys. We've got some mail in here. Oh, somebody give me a battle tip. Quests, alliances. Let's head back home. Oh, they're probably over here in the barracks. No, all right, so they're not in the barracks. But guys, this is where you train stuff up. So you can get a battering ram. Oh, nice. Outriders. Sweet. Let's train 100 of those guys just to get them working. Uh, go back in here. We can, we're can. we going to train up so much troops. We're going to train up so many troops. Train 100 more of those. Uh, no, okay, so you can only train up one barrack at a time. I'm trying to figure out where, uh, where the people are that I just attacked. Is it right here? How to play? No. But if you guys have any questions, you can click on that how to play button. Um, but I'm going to go figure that out. Alliance? Is it under here? This, what are these 14 things? Alliance comments, alliance help. That's kind of cool. So in your line, oops, no problem. Thanks for the help. Thanks. Oh, cool. It looks like uh, it seems pretty friendly and people help each other out a lot. But I really want to figure out where, um, can we upgrade these now? Nice. Upgrade our food. Sweet. Am I doing it? No. Upgrade. Upgrade. There we go. And let's, this one's already level two, but let's upgrade that anyways. Uh, building queue is full, so we can't upgrade anymore. But um, the game looks pretty fun, guys. It's it's vertical, like I said, which I think is pretty interesting. It makes it easier to hold. You don't have to use both of your hands. You could play while you're driving, but I don't uh, think that you should because that'd be pretty dangerous. But that's going to be it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Try it out. Let me know what y'all think. Again, like the video if you guys have played it before. Um, I'd be interested to know how many of you guys have tried it out. Again, this is my first time trying it out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you play on for me, all right? See you guys later. Peace.